Hello, people of grace. We have come through the Advent season and have that pause between Christmas and New Year's, which is a real uh, downtime for our, a lot of elements of our culture. And as we head into the new year and that time where we often set goals or resolutions, we're going to be looking at 1 Peter chapter 1. And so for our pastoral connect today, I want to look at just one verse, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. And think about this, being secure, but not complete. I think it's pretty well attested that we all struggle a lot with insecurity. Um, and even when we look at our salvation, there's really a strong emphasis on the security of the believer. Uh, but maybe when it comes to day in and day out, we need to think a little more nuanced or subtly. Is it possible to be completely secure even though something's not complete yet, um, so that we can kind of find a rest even in the ambiguity. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 4 tells us that our salvation is kept, number one, by God's power. God's power keeps our salvation. Um, we tend to think of salvation as a thing to possess, and that's not completely false, but ultimately it's about a person, a Jesus. And though you may lose your salvation, you may lose sight of Jesus, he doesn't lose you. All the power of God is there to keep your salvation. But then Peter says this, and here's the ambiguity, through faith, through our faith. Um, and again, for me personally, and I think it really is the uh, the, the better understanding of Scripture, though I don't want to get too hung up in arguing about that. Um, our salvation is secure because God has foreknowledge and he seals us with the Spirit. But day in and day out, if you stop walking in faith, you're going to raise all kinds of questions about your salvation. And just even raising those questions is not where God wants us to be. God's salvation is kept secure, but day in and day out is through your faith. Recognizing these two things, that that salvation is ready to be revealed. It's ready to have the veil lifted. As Paul says, we're already seated in the heavenly realm if we have Christ. As John says, you have an anointing, and that anointing teaches you everything. As Peter says, you've already been given everything you need for life and godliness, but in the daily grind of the day-in, day-out war, we lose sight of that. Our trust fails. We start feeling insecure. We get anxious. But what Peter's trying to tell us is that salvation is ready. But the veil hasn't been lifted yet. That veil that will let us see this incredible thing that God has done for us in Christ will be lifted in the last time, in the last season. Between now and then, we're in the valley of the shadow. Between now and then, when that veil is lifted and our salvation is revealed, we see in a glass darkly. But in that last season, it will be revealed. And then we will know fully that though I may have lost my salvation at times, he, my savior, my salvation, doesn't lose me. So... Day in, day out, don't stop believing. And if that journey song helps you keep fighting that, the fight is to day in and day out, to not stop believing. Recognizing, though I may lose sight of my salvation, he, it, never loses me. And that's an encouraging thought as we head into a new year. Have a blessed day.